For thousands of years, people have sat around fires just like this at times of year, just like this as the weather turns colder and the days turn shorter. They tell stories and they gather with loved ones. This is a tradition that extends far beyond our modern holidays. Today, we're going to talk a little about kind of the foundation for a lot of those holidays, the winter solstice. Hello, I'm A.G. Vasquez, and this is Maps and Legends. Today I'm here at Casa de Culturas, my home in Joshua Tree, and uh, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit today about <coughs> the uh, um, winter solstice. Uh, today is uh, December 21st, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, shortest day of, of the of the uh, solar year, the calendar year, the uh, sun's going to be going down pretty soon. Now we've got it's pretty overcast today, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> go out here. You can see the uh, Copper Mountain area and the dry lake out here behind my house. But we're not going to see much of the sky, but we are you know, getting a little overcast. But uh, the solstice is summer and winter. We're going to talk today about winter. Um, mark a very important time in the um, uh, procession of uh, our planet through the cosmos. And um, for a little background information, uh, the word solstice uh, uh, comes from the Latin. Sol, meaning sun, and uh, uh, stitiare, a Latin word, or, or, or stiti is the root word. Stitiare means literally stationary, it's to stand still. So it means sun, stand still. <clears throat> so the solstice, every year, at the winter solstice, the sun on the 21st which is the shortest day of the year, it appears for three days to stand still. And to the ancient people, they, as, and they observe the stars and the sun far more than we do uh, from a very practical standpoint. You know, we rely on astronomers and scientists to look at, at the heavens and, and, and interpret for us. But in, 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 in older times, people, the common person, would often gauge what they did by the stars. And ceremonies were gauged by the stars and the sun and the moon and those cycles, a very natural cycle. So the solstice, the sun stands still. Now, why is it so special? Well, we're December 21st. And uh, for those of you of uh, uh, the Judeo-Christian faiths, um, uh, Hanukkah, Christmas, these are the times of year where we have the, these holidays where we celebrate it's the, the sun goes darker and we celebrate by lighting up our world and we have candles <clears throat> candles and trees and all these things to, to brighten up our world and we get it because again when in the ancient times people would see the sun it would get darker and darker and they would they would pray and then they would send up thoughts up to the heavens up to the creator as the sun stood still you know, people say, "Well, was it was it was it a superstition that that that, that people thought, oh, it's, it's the sun's not going to ever move again, and it's going to keep getting dark." No, they were paying honor to this cycle that went on over and over throughout the years. Now, when we look in the sky, remember, there's a, a there, and there's factual things behind pretty much all of our our cultural myths and and our cultural stories, but particularly if you're of the Christian faith um, uh, of uh, the birth of, of Christ and the three wise men in particular. So that has its basis in the stars. Um, the, during the solstice, the three wise men, which are the three stars in the belt of Orion, point to the, to the star Sirius, uh, otherwise known as the dog star. And, and Sirius, like Sirius Radio, um, the, uh, uh, was during the uh, ancient times, uh, it is believed to have been the star of Bethlehem. And Sirius today is a very bright star, and at the time, and I'm not aware or familiar with it, it was, it was, it was going nova or having some sort of issue, uh, but, or otherwise it's still a very bright star, and it shone very brightly in the sky during this time, with the three stars in progression in the belt pointing to the dog star. The three kings pointing the way to the new sun, the star, the new, the new star. And so, and, you know, for those of you, the, the, the story of... Uh, 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 Christ and 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 uh, the three wise kings is a, a beautiful story. Uh, in, other cultures have the variation. And this variation is that story of the three stars, the three kings, and the the uh, uh, the, the so-called the Bethlehem star, Sirius. So when we're looking at, at at our solstice, it is a day or it's a period of time where the sun appears to stand still, and we think uh, 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 the, it, it gets dark early. And then at the end of that period of time, it starts to get light, stay light later and later. So essentially, it's 
it, this is the cosmos. This is kind of the, the, uh, the, the cosmic bargain that we have faith that that light's not going to go out. And we light a candle and we bring good cheer to each other, to our homes and we welcome family and friends and we sing songs all over the world. People, people celebrate the winter in different ways. You know, you, you don't have to put presents under a tree and have a jolly fat man saying ho, ho, ho to, to celebrate and appreciate these things. So here, you know, we, we usually do a fire. My, my fire is going out, but I'll, uh, I'll put that in right now. And one of the things we'll do is I'll do a fire, and we'll have a fire. Now, in Joshua Tree, we have to be careful with fires right now, so I'm not going to – usually they'll burn for three days, but today we're not going to do that. But, well, just in honor of today, I'm going to toss a log on for all of you that have checked out the show. And just to let you know that the solstice is a time – you know, on the calendar, June, January, January 1st is our new year. The 31st is, is the New Year's Eve. But in cosmic time, this is New Year's. So essentially, <clears throat> this is New Year's Eve. It's the 21st. And at, uh, the, the, the solstice officially uh, begins at 8.21 p.m. And, and it, with the next several days, especially out in areas where there's uh, geoglyphs and petroglyphs, like in Blythe, you can actually see, if you're with a trained elder, you can see shadows and the landforms that, that, that people have, have used to guide themselves over the solstices. So there's a lot of amazing things, even out here in Southern California, that you can go and appreciate the solstice. And I hope some of you go out tomorrow in the morning or in the evening at the sunset and just, just enjoy this new year. The blessings that we had from last year, carry them into the coming year. Now, for us, this is New Year's Eve. So, so the next time I, I speak to you, it'll be my new year, even if it's before January 1st. Uh, we, we celebrate New Year's uh, on the 21st, 22nd. And the 23rd is actually my birthday. So the next three days, we have lots of celebrating. And then Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So there's a lot of festivities around here at Casa de Culturas with my family and my children. And, you know, I encourage all of you to light a candle, light a fire in a safe place. Um, enjoy friends uh, if you – and bring, bring people into your life. And even if you're not near family, go out to your extended family. Volunteer. Do something that, that, that shows – that this season of light and joy lives in your heart all the time. And that the solstice is a time to relax, reflect, consider where we've been and where we're going to go for the next year. For it's been a wonderful year. And I offer you many, many blessings to you and all of your families. I'm A.G. Vasquez. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday.